Today we are off on our shakedown trip of our camper van. After getting our self-contained certificate, critical in New Zealand for so-called freedom camping, i.e. staying places for free, we were keen to take a trip to iron out some of the problems. Here we are driving our way through the Waikato countryside towards our first stop, Te Araha. Te Araha is a rural town in the Waikato region of New Zealand with a population of 3,906. It is 53 kilometres northeast of Hamilton and 50 kilometres south of Thames. It sits at the foot of a 952 meter Mount Tiaraha, the highest point in the Kaimai Ranges. The town is properly named Tiaraha at Uta, Uta meaning inland, so the town is named Love Flowing Inland. There are fantastic works of art here as you wander around the township with a variety of different pieces and of course plenty of photo opportunities. We are starting our climb today at Mokina Geyser, the only natural soda water geyser in the world. We have chosen to do the Tui Domain track to take in the fantastic waterfalls and view out over the town. Yeah, this is Colin's lookout. Okay. Hi guys, so we've um, come up through um, the track to Knoll's Lookout and uh, what you can see sort of behind us is looking out over the Hauraki Plains. Uh, the town below us is uh, Tiaraha and you get a like a fantastic view. After our climb to the lookout on Tiaraha, we are heading off to our stop for the night, Pairoa. New Zealanders know the town for its mineral springs, 
which in the past provided the water used in the local soft drink known as Lemon and Pyra. Here are us posing by the famous big bottle of Lemon Pyro, a local landmark. We are staying at Railway Reserve Pyro. The site is located on Marshall Street. A dump station is available on the site and power is available which incurs a fee. A facilities fee of $5 per vehicle per night is charged which must be prepaid at the Caltex uh, service station in Belmont Road. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share and join us next time.